Welcome back to Tips Tuesday. I am your host, Dr. Jennifer Shaw, and I am super excited to be here with you today to talk about everything essential oils in gardening. Uh, so if you guys know me and have followed me for any period of time, I don't need to talk about why we don't spray chemicals on our food that we are growing to eat ourselves. We are growing food ourselves most likely to avoid the chemicals. So what can we use to keep the pesky bugs away? Because it's not an if there will be bugs, it's when there are bugs. And I'm going to teach you by oil today what some of the most powerful oils can do to help eliminate pests in your, your garden and how to do it. Uh, where I live right now, I have a very small garden, but I have tons of plants. I love plants and I love gardening. And where I'm moving, I actually have a greenhouse that me and my boyfriend are super excited to get up and running so that we can control the majority of the produce coming into our house. And we won't be using any chemicals in there. We'll only be using essential oils and homemade products. Uh, and I used to have a really big garden at my house at the beach in San Diego when I lived there for five years. And you know, we had some pests in there that we need to deal with. And I have some really great recipes that I'm going to share with you. It's really actually pretty simple. All you need is an eight ounce spray bottle. I use a glass one like this. Um, usually just get mine off Amazon. So I'll put the link down below so you guys can check out some of the spray bottles I use. Uh, but doTERRA also sells some really cool ones that you can use as well. So in that eight ounce spray bottle, I do a half to a teaspoon of a natural soap. So like a Castile soap, I personally use on guard concentrate cleaner because I know it's safe and I trust it. So that's what I have in my house and that's what I use. So I use about anywhere from a half to a teaspoon of concentrate cleaner. And that's gonna help the essential oil and everything stick to the plant to deter the, the pests. Then you're gonna add anywhere from like 10 to 15 drops of the essential oils to the mix fill it with water, shake, and respray frequently. So when you use a toxic chemical, you only maybe have to spray once a month and you're good to go. But when you use natural products, you want to be spraying them down every couple of days because they're natural and they don't last as much as the toxic chemicals. And that's okay. That's why we use them, right? Okay. So let's go through what are you going to put in your spray bottle? What oils will you use and why? I find it really confusing when it's listed like the, by the pest. I find it much easier for my brain to follow when I list it by the oil. So I'm going to go through and show you some of my favorite oils for the garden. Peppermint. Peppermint is a go-to to add into that spray bottle. If you're dealing with ants, aphids, beetles, flies, moths, plant lice, or spiders. A uh, little bonus story about spiders, guys. If you hate spiders as much as I do, make a very similar spray bottle with just peppermint and spray your windows and your door jams once a week to keep the spiders away, okay? So this is a great, great uh, blend. Knowing too, guys, in your garden, spiders are gonna eat other pests, so we might not want to deter them from the garden, even though I hate them. So <laughs> peppermint, obviously has a ton of different benefits as far as what it keeps away. So that's a good one to grab. The next one I want to show you is cedar wood. This is a great one for the garden. This is wonderful for aphids, moths, and mosquitoes. And then you have Siberian fir. I didn't really realize this one was so good for the garden, but it truly is for some really pesky things. Aphids. So this is a great one. So let's say hypothetically you have aphids in the garden, right? and you decide, okay, aphids are good. You have Siberian fir, cedarwood, and peppermint. 10 to 15 drops, right? Well, great, do five drops each, okay? And you can always add more if you need it. But Siberian fir itself is good for aphids, slugs, and snails. Slugs and snails can be catastrophic to your garden. So get using that Siberian fir, okay? Then we have thyme essential oil. Some of the things that we use in here are things we can actually grow in our garden, right? So thyme is great for getting rid of beetles, chiggers, cutworm, fleas, and ticks. And then you have lavender. Lavender is great for chiggers, fleas, really good for flies, guys. So good for flies. Um, mosquitoes and ticks. 
you know, uh, those little tea light candles I made what that I, you can go back to my, my last video or one of my last videos where I talked about the little tea light candles using lemon eucalyptus or citronella or tear shield. If you want to use them to get rid of flies, do those same little tea light votive candles with lavender and that will help get rid of flies. That's a great, great option. Next up, we have lemongrass. Lemongrass is good for chiggers, fleas, mosquitoes, and ticks. So if you have pups and cats, it's a really good alternative than to their flea medication, right? Then you have eucalyptus. This is good to add in with the lavender for flies. So if you're doing those votive candles, you can do lavender and eucalyptus, but it's also good for roaches. So if you have roach issues, similar to that spider spray, you want to spray the door jams and windows in the areas those roaches are coming in or around your garden uh, with eucalyptus in that spray. And that'll be really helpful. Patchouli is a heavy hitter with gnats, slugs, snails, and weevils. So remember, I already talked about using um, Siberian fur for slugs and snails. You can combine the patchouli with the Siberian fur, and that's a nice option. And then you have rosemary. Rosemary is good for flies as well. So we have eucalyptus, lavender, rosemary. They're all good for flies. So if that's your biggest concern, making a nice combo of that that you enjoy. It's also really good for Japanese beetles if that's a problem you have. And then I've already talked a ton to you guys about lemon eucalyptus and citronella, but these two are amazing for mosquitoes and ticks among, amongst other pets, pests. So you don't need all of these essential oils to take care of bugs, right? If you have some of them, start using the ones you have, and then you can add in others to see what really packs the punch in your garden. But the point is here, make a simple spray, shake it and spray it around the garden, on the plants, in the pots a couple times a week right? Shoot to do it three times a week. And I bet you see a huge difference in what's going on in your garden. And you know that you can rest easy knowing that what you're using on your plants is safe for you to consume. So you can bring your produce in from the garden, clean it like you normally would, and know that there are no chemicals because you grew it. So I hope that's really helpful. And that is a consumable way for you to understand how to use these essential oils. Uh, if you have a doTERRA account, go and order the ones that you need and get started in your garden right away. If you are brand new to doTERRA and you don't know, you know, if these essential oils are right for you and you want to give them a try, you can do the five-day oil experience for just $10. I send you six samples and I walk you through how to incorporate those essential oils into your home over five days. And at the end, you fill out a short survey, we hop on a quick call, and I help you with essential oils to see if they are the right fit for you. If you're watching this video and you have a specific pest in your garden that you want an essential oil to try for, go ahead and put that in the referral option down at the bottom and I'll send you a sample of that essential oil along with the other six essential oils. So I hope you join me for the five-day oil experience. I hope you have fun gardening and I cannot wait to share with you guys the insider view of my greenhouse when we get it up and running. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later on our next Tips Tuesday. Make sure you subscribe and like the channel so that you get notified when I launch new videos and comment below, let me know which essential oil you're going to try to eliminate pests in your garden.